What's up guys, Skinner here. And I want to talk about Corrupting Cry. As you know, I had a blast playing it the last two leagues. In fact, I put out some guides on how you could leak start it, and then I did leak start it and documented my progress with it in Affliction. And it was awesome. I did all content, killed Ubers. After a week, I had um, the build functioning where I had everything exploding on the screen. It could be 8,000, 10,000 wisp juice massive expeditions and everything would die and the character was immortal basically in that type of content and it was awesome and you just ran around with the signature left click and you were just shield charging and everything died and you had Val reap to press for your single target for when things were tanky loved it it was great well times change so, what changed? Well, we won't be able to play it with left click anymore. We'll have to use the call to arms support. Is that the end of the world? No, you will be able to play this at, as a second or third character, but you will not be able to leak start it because we used to play it with just a four link, right? We just put some nice crafted gloves, the Liam Essence for the suffix, fill it out, you know, Build chaos for the prefixes. You'll still be able to Ashling with available orb. You'll still be able to do that, but it won't work because you hit need one socket for the general's cry, second socket for the corrupting cry, third socket for the call to arms, and then well you're gonna have either awakened swift affliction or just awakened brutality. Uh, that's not really good enough. Just one damage link is uh, quite frankly pretty bad. But you're going to have to run it in a six link because there was another damage link that you'd like to use efficacy right and then you could have a nice six link put it in your chest but if you have it in a six link in your chest you still need single target and like let's say you're using like a follow reap you know six link or something similar some physical uh spell there there are some other options but fall reap is generally the best because we're scaling fizz dot so Sure, you could use a cane of Kulamek like this one. And yeah, absolutely, it would work. But then you're not going to be able to have the beautiful gameplay of shield charging everywhere and having like Berserk and, and all of this other really good stuff. Um, let's say, okay, well, what if I used a, one of those Shaco Helmets, level, like level 35 Captain Cry ones? Well, you still would be losing one of your damage links, right? Like you're. You're, it's it's not as good as you think. So what can you do? Well, you can walk around like an old man with no leap slam or shield charge using a cane of Kulamak, and that will do damage. And if you want to do that, you can, sure, uh, play that way. But really, you're going to have to play it at a high budget. You're going to need a squire and then like a, a well-crafted uh, like plus two scepter that also has uh, like influence for like other supported things and then you can have like a really really powerful single target that way and still be able to shield charge I'm not gonna put a guide out on that ex extremely niche build because if you have the budget to play a high-end uh, squire build for one of your second or third characters when you just want to be able to shield charge around the map and have everything die and then press your Vol Reap on the boss and watch it melt, you'll be able to do that. I don't need to tell you how to do that if you're that good of a gamer. So, yeah. Um, I won't be playing it this week. I'm going to play something else. I am probably going to play the Rutu cast on crit detonate dead. Uh, I'm Exile and Manny will be playing it in Hardcore and Hardcore SSF respectively. You should just go steal their stuff. Ventrue is putting out guides on it. Uh, you can watch his entire campaign playthrough of how to you know, get into white maps in three hours if you'd like to really understand that build. At least then you'll be able to do it with one button because again, you were here because you wanted to kill everything and just press one button on bosses. Well, this build, which did that fantastically, is dead. It's gone. Until you have a very high budget 
uh, Squire Plus. Uh, maybe you have uh, an explode crafted scepter, right? Um, or you just have uh, an Asenath's, so you can have explosions with on top of your uh, corrupting cry that is your six link chest. So there you go. If you do want to be able to play this build in the future, that is how you're going to have to do it. Uh, you're not going to use Balakesh, obviously, because um, if you use Asenath, <laughs> you can need to make up your resist somewhere. So. Have a blast, and uh, probably not with this. Peace out, guys.